picking up where we left off, number 14, we want to know which of these will give us, uh, as you approach infinity, uh, where it equals zero. And right here, you want to make sure you use bubble by heat CC. Okay. Where it's bigger on the bottom, that's where you want, uh, that's where you're going to end up having a horizontal asymptote of zero. And we have that right here. And we have that right here. Um, both of those is where uh, the bottom grows faster. And so your answer will be one and three, letter E. Okay, first step, plug it in. What happens if you plug in? You get a zero on the denominator. You can't do that, so we factor out. And what we're looking for is an x plus two or an x minus two. Because hopefully by now you'll see that that's what the denominator breaks up into. Okay, so what do you end up in top? x plus three, x minus two. Okay, whoa, excuse me. One of these is supposed to be. Excuse the congestion bit. Minus. Okay. Difference of squares right here. All right, those cancel out. Now you can plug in the two, which gives you five over four. Yeah. And there's your answer. Okay, here we have another definition of a derivative. What it's actually asking for is the derivative of ln of x evaluated at x equals four. And so just find the derivative of ln of x which is equal to 1 over x, and then evaluated at x equals 4, gives you 1 fourth, and there's your answer, okay? Okay, this is number, what do we got here? 17. Okay, remember, every time it's asking for the slope of the tangent line, it's asking for the derivative, okay? So find the derivative of ln of uh, 2x. which gives you 2 over 2x, reduces down to 1 over x, and evaluate it at x equals 4, which leaves you to, uh, with 1 4. Okay, measure. okay, here now, we're not only trying to find the slope of the tangent line, but once we find it, plug it into the point-slope equation. Now, if you look at each one of your answer choices, you already know you don't have to uh, finish the algebra. As soon as you plug in, you're ready to go. Uh, first, find the slope, and uh, if you can separate y, do it. I'm going to solve it implicitly. Okay, so I'll have 2x minus 3x dy dx plus 3y equals 0. Keep in mind here that we use the product rule, and that's what we got in this portion. Okay, that's, what, that's how we found uh, the derivative here. Now, the reason why you need those parentheses is because that negative sign has to distribute to both. We're subtracting the whole part of the product rule. And now you just plug in the numbers, and that's what you should get. Okay. Cleaning it up, and that's what you get. Excuse the mistake. This needs to be a negative. Just from what I said before, we need to distribute that, and these two cancel out to be a positive. Okay, so what you end up is with uh, 11, we're going to add the 3 to the other side, equals 3 dy dx, divide by 3, dy dx, here's your slope. And from here, you don't need to look any further. Even if you did have two uh, slopes in your answer choices that had uh, the same one, two, more than one option, you already know what the, in your head, you already know what the point slope uh, form is. Okay, so you just plug it in. Right. So you don't need to go any further on your AP test as well. Or tomorrow. Okay, now here's here's the key about this. To, like, sorry, wow. The key to this problem here is average rate of change. Okay. We're so used to doing derivatives all over the place. If you, if you see this, you might want to just go ahead and jump to do the derivative, but Keep in mind here, we don't have a point, we have an interval, okay? An x interval from z x equals 0 to x equals 3. And right here is the average rate of change. So hopefully those two cues right there will tip you off not to take the derivative. We're looking for the slope of the secant line. Okay. And there you have it, your rise over your run. And just plug in them. And there's your next step. Now I'm going to plug in the 
the threes. Sorry, that was silly. I should have done that in the first place. Okay, now be careful. It's not always going to be zero here, so make sure you uh, don't jump to that conclusion, please. All right, finishing it up, and there you have it. Let's keep in mind this is number 18.